Well, I think I've had three total concussions. Um, one one was when I was playing AAA when I was younger and it never really got diagnosed because there's no real doctors on the scene there. So you kind of just say you have a headache and they kind of go with the flow. Um, and then my first year here was my first like official one and uh, never had one before. So I didn't really know the symptoms or what to expect. So came into the rink the next day, uh, lights were hurting my eyes, uh, just the sound was hurting. So I knew something was wrong. You kind of just sit around, depending on how bad the symptoms are, you might be in a dark room. During, obviously it was really crappy. Like you see the guys playing and you're kind of just in the background and not doing much. So like during, I'd say it wasn't the best, but since I'm, I've been fine. Before I came to school, I actually took a year off hockey. I kind of lost the passion for the game, lost the love, wanted to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. Um, so that was tough. And then I finally decided I wanted to play again and come to school here. And then the first game of the season for that year, I got the concussion. So it was really hard to kind of like get back into the motion of things and start feeling the passion again and then be told or kind of forced to not play. So that was really tough, especially first year in school, you're trying to learn the whole campus, just get back in the rhythm of school. Um, definitely wasn't easy. Probably missing class, like that was tough. You get notes and stuff like that, but it's, you, you're not there and you're kind of playing catch up and figuring out what's going on when you're not there. This third year now was my third one, and uh, I guess I kind of knew what to expect now. Um, I would say this is the worst one that I've had. I kind of lost time after the hit, so that was a little scary. Um, I've kind of always been told to not play scared. You kind of, you almost get hurt again if you do that, so my kind of game's to hit a lot, and I didn't want to not do that. So yeah, no, it wasn't really in the back of my head. When a player has a concussion, uh, you definitely want to support them and everything they can do. Depending on the severity of the concussion, uh, sometimes they can't do schoolwork or uh, you know they're having trouble doing stuff around the rink. So I mean, it's always just as a, as a teammate to help support them in any way you can is definitely the, the biggest goal. Jared's a key player in our team, so when, in, his, in his absence, uh, we definitely felt a missing link in our room and on the ice. So moving forward, fingers crossed that none of our players ever do get those again. I feel at this level now we kind of know what's coming and we can kind of brace ourselves but there are those times like this year it happened to me I didn't see the guy coming and he almost like completely knocked me out um, but I just treat it as like a bump in the road and another part of my story.